developing the mind has to be uh, carefully done too because now mind is already developed human mind yeah. uh, to make uh, nuclear weapons yeah. to Depending destroy other beings yeah. yeah. so i think developing the mind holds them yes must be supported so, by metta karuna, karuna mudita upeka okay. the four positive states mm -hmm. must yes. develop so if, if yes the the guy who invented the atom bomb mm -hmm. yeah he used his mind but for destruction for destruction yeah. all right uncle vijay i think we have come to the end of the interview so do you do you uh, give us a conclusion about everything probably if you have missed out on anything uh, on and maybe probably you can give a summary maybe in short yeah. about what we were we were we've been discussing uh, uh topic was uh Uh, misconceptions of the regarding so what could be your take on as the conclusion yeah. for those people who are watching here yeah. uh, how would you need to think about karma uh, with uh, karma with this understanding we shared today yeah, yeah. Uh, each time we have a session each time we think about the dhamma uh, our understanding our own understanding grows a little bit wider today what came out of this interview was how little i know <laughs> how little i know because i think the buddha i don't know where he said it but i think the buddha has said that certain things are too deep oh yeah you mentioned this also certain things are too deep for us for a little human mind to try and grasp so don't overreach so if today's discussion made you more confused about the karma and its working don't worry it's it's okay it, it's all right because we can never know everything but if we use what little we gain today to even start asking questions and plus there's a there's a rainbow after the storm there's a rainbow <laughs> after the storm yes 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 can right. stir up the different aspects of karma yes yes and so uh but we must not forget that karma is central an understanding of karma however basic is central to our understanding of the buddha dhamma Kar teaching of karma and bante mentioned just one only rebirth we haven't gone anywhere near rebirth yet okay and that has to be understood uh it would be presumptuous on our parts to think that we can understand it all but if with deep humility you we say that we are sharing we are trying to clarify our own thoughts and after each session that little bit more clarification has come we haven't wasted our time thank you very much and bante i must thank you <laughs> for having asked such beautiful searching questions and right. you challenged my thinking all right thank you so much i'm yeah. blessed um now folks uh, today we discuss and uh, uh, delve into very interesting aspects of uh, karma i would say we kind of busted uh, some of the myths uh, or i would say misconception about karma with uh, uncle vijay samar vikram and i hope that you learned uh, i would say all these uh, you know misconceptions i would say once again believing that karma is given to us by the supernatural god believing karma is random believing karma is predetermined believing karma can be neutralized all these are misconceptions karma karma uh, in the real sense is only uh, one section of the experience according to the abhidhamma and all these things but it may have a large bearing bigger effect on us So if you have any questions please uh, uh type in these questions under the video and I want to thank Uncle Vijay uh, uh profusely and you said that the first time that you've been interviewed by a monk yeah <laughs> and we're kind of excited about it that's the one of the motivations and I wish you uh health uh perfect health and uh, happiness uh you know uh, to many years that you live this life at the same time i want to thank the bgf buddhist jain fellowship uh, for hosting facilitating uh, providing the space and all that uh, 
especially uh, Brother Chi and all the others, the multiple directors, all the committee members and uh, people who are supporting this place uh, to bring this interview discussion. I, I hope this interview is going to be an eye-opener to everybody. With that in mind, I wanted to say thank you everybody and have a good day.